stond er? Oh ja, uh, high five. High five. <laughs> high five. Thank you so much for commenting and uh, give me some suggestions uh, for the next YouTube video. And uh, so here we are. Uh, one really stood out to me and that was the question like how do you write songs and where do you start? That's a question that gets asked a lot. So um, today I'm joining my buddy, Mr. Slow, producer in The Hague, in his studio and we're gonna write a song and... if you start with the lyrics or start with the melody or start with the music uh, what I personally do is just jam on the guitar or on the piano and just like throw out some gibberish so for example you like minus on the chorus I say I don't know what I found in you but I always hear my side I don't know where you go oh, oh. It's just gibberish, and then I can like like write it down, and I, I hear like words as sorry, go, uh, stuff like that. And uh, you do that all the time on repeat on your uh, recording device, whatever, on your phone. And then you listen back to it, and you do that for hours, and just see what sticks. Hey, tip two: if you really start off as an amateur, steal. And I don't <laughs> mean steal like everyone's idea, but the format. Like every song has. A like a type of song has some kind of format so like some songs are like a first pre-chorus chorus then go back to the verse some have a drop and stuff like that so like the format of a song you can steal of a song you like and then try to see uh try to understand like what what they are doing then steal that in your own version and of course in the end if you like change it change it change it to your really your own thing it will be your own thing but uh, first of all, if you really don't know the structure of a song, steal it. Tip three. Um, a concept. What is it about? Like 80% of all the songs are about love. But you can put it in like a different way. Um, and what's really important about that is the phrases you use uh, and the words you use. I mean like, uh, ain't no sunshine till she's gone. I mean, like that says it all, and it says it in a perfect way, not like she's perfect or whatever. No, there ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I used to do, and sometimes still do, is when I see, I don't know, some interesting word somewhere, I just write it down, and I have that sheet with all these words, and then I'm like, all right, that could be something interesting. And uh, one friend of mine wrote the song Firestone for Kygo, and he, that was a tire company in America. He, dr he was driving on the road, he saw Firestone tires, and he just, it stuck with his mind. Uh, it. Four. <laughs> rhyming. Um, rhyming, you have all kinds of structures to do it. You can, you can make, make the first sentence rhyme on the second one, and, and so on, or you can do the first uh, rhyme, uh, first sentence rhymes on the third one, and so on. Uh, does it really have to rhyme? No. In my opinion, no, it doesn't. It really has to do with the sound of the words. Um, but I, you, yeah, I'm used to combine those those different rhyme schemes actually. And uh, for example, like my last uh, my last song was uh, narcotic, and I use different kind of rhymes. And one one of my favorites is a near rhyme that sounds like the word, but it's not actually a rhyme. <laughs> Never took that pill against my will There was a void I had to fill You if I would understand Tip 5 If you're a singer-songwriter and you're not taking seriously Buy a hat Grab your guitar And play at the corner of the street <laughs> 